Ah, happy coincidence to find you here, Arisen. I hear not but ill rumors. Men speak whispers that Arisen are simply fodder for the dragon. Whispers that you act as a sacrifice. For others who hope to gauge the beast's strength, they say you're not but a tool, just as the bones. You were raised with Kina, were you not? I would ask a service of you on her behalf. Make her bless you, my child. As you know, Kina is well devoted to the church. She has distinguished herself here, in her studies and duties both. So it is at long last that her fervent wish has come true. She is granted transfer to the Grand Cathedral in the mainland. It is a great honor for our humble abbey. We are aglow with pride. We wish to bestow upon Kina a gift of blessed items, that the Maker may shield her on her journey. But alas, we find ourselves without certain sacred materials required for the blessing. As her friend since childhood, we can think of none more suited to gather these items. I would also ask you hold this errand secret from Kina. We hope to surprise her with the gift on the morning of her departure. The materials can be found within the catacombs. I understand these self-seen materials are readily available in processed form throughout our capital. The gold required, however, is formidable. And we feel the task worthy of a more personal touch besides. Kina, was it? Seems the girl's taken with the idea of training at the Grand Cathedral. We're mates, you and I, hmm? Well, perhaps I'll take the girl there myself. Don't look so worried, friend. <laughs> An abbey? Yeah. It seems a dangerous place for such pursuits. Buy it with coin in the markets, or with steel in the catacombs. It is your choice. Fear not should we lose our way, Master. Your map will serve us. To make this charm, best we looked someplace with old things lying about. I know no useful details. I know no useful details. Shall we scour the catacombs then, or simply purchase it? Take all the time. Take all the do come again.
this shop will see to your hair, should you be of a mind to have it styled. Hello. Yes, Arisen. Yes, Arisen. You cannot take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. I am honored to travel with you. This pawn is joy to hear it, Master. May our paths cross again. The capital is home to a pawn guild where my kind gathers. Mind the guards on watch, Master. They'll not suffer any untoward behavior lightly. Hello. Yes, Arisen? Yes, Arisen? Hello. Yes, Arisen? Yes, Arisen? The Duke's sure, but uh, some a piece you I'm sure you'll find it. I'm sure any the scrivener of the black cat here can duplicate objects in your possession. Uh, yes, well enough idle chatter. To business then, you'll find not Find not but the finest. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
they say in times long past, such hill figures were not uncommon. If victory is elusive, seek new allies. Never. Seek new foes. I've set its wings ablaze. I see the hold. Are we not just here? We <laughs> the oh. What's that? Over there. Is that some sort of structure? What's this doing? I've been drenched. This looks interesting.
What to do in this quest? I've gained quest knowledge. I'll take that. Hmm, what's that? Cast an eye below as we cross. There may be arts beneath the bridge. The roads are safer than the brush, but still we best stay wary. There's certainly no worry of an ambush out here. Hmm. Feel that breeze. Ready yourself. It is a powerful foe. You breed like rabbits, these goblins. I believe. Any time. What is here? All these 
parts look the same. Fear not should we lose our way, Master. Your map will serve us. The Mother Superior awaits us, and Kina's gift as well. An abbey, here. It seems a dangerous place for such pursuits. I have no doubt Kina's desire to visit the Grand Cathedral owes much to your role as a Risen. Acolytes of the Faith have long studied the dragon there. Doubtless, she hopes to discover some means to aid you. Some call it folly to attempt the long journey to the mainland with the dragon about. Knowledge is the light on our path to conquering this evil. It must never be abandoned. My thanks, Arisen. This is all we required. We shall begin the blessing at once. May the Maker's light shine always upon you. Well, sister, the time is near. Our time together has been short, and yet you have become so very dear to the Abbey. You make me feel quite small, sister. To quit the Abbey for my own reason seems altogether selfish now. Nonsense, child. It warms my heart to send one of our own to the Grand Cathedral. Before you depart, I would have you take this. A gift from all of us. Oh, my! So this is why you spent such long hours afield. It is wonderful. I cannot imagine the effort it took to craft. My steps will be lighter knowing I bear the support of such fine friends. Pray remember, I seek only to aid you as you have so oft done for me. I will return with the knowledge you need to dispatch the worm. Just wait. Also, I... I would give you this. It is a small thing, hardly equal to all you've done for me, but I... Listen to me. It seems there's nary a parting I can't turn painful. I shall return to you. I swear it. I've learned what to do with this quest. I feel more familiar with this quest now. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. Now, where shall we head? Castle walls are reached by a flight of stairs ahead. From day to night, this area feels completely different.
Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I have more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. It grieves me to report an item was stolen from the castle's stores a few days past. It was a possession of the Duke's and a treasure of the realm. The Worm King's Ring. The band was stolen under heavy watch. I fear it to be the work of someone within the castle. But first, the ring must be reclaimed. Will you do it, sir? You would do well to begin by asking the men and women of the castle what they know. That ring is a treasure to all Grancis, and a symbol of the Duke's authority. It must be found. Good Aldous told me there's been sign of thieving within the castle. Even should they escape sight, the castle's construction hinders all who do not know it well. Our villain had a guide, or had some occasion to grow familiar with the castle. You've made quite the name for yourself since last we spoke. I heard a report of an unfamiliar man seen within the castle's halls. They say he had the look of that sorcerer. I owe you an apology. I could, but you're... If there's talk of a sorcerer, it'll be Solomon, no doubt. I'd hoped we were rid of that rat for good. I do not relish the thought of his return, but the pilfered ring does bear a strong magical affinity. It is the sort of bauble Solomon would covet. Solomon. It is a name that calls up bitter memories. Time was the Duke held a council of magic scholars here in Grand Sorin. Tasked with ensorcelling grimoires and trinkets, Salomet sat at the head of the council. His genius was unmatched, save by his ambitions. Once their research bore fruit, Salomet betrayed his grace and fled with the findings. He disappeared, leaving the corpses of his fellow scholars in his wake. I know not by what design he would reveal himself now. Perhaps thought about this ring that compels him. <laughs> 